And finally, Slovakia, which holds the rotating presidency of the European Union, says that the bloc will make the Brexit, quote, very painful for the UK. The Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico rejected the British Premier's confident tone on what she has called making a success out of the Brexit. Fico said that leaving the EU will cause pain to the UK, even if Britain is the fifth largest economy in the world. Fico's remarks come following the first EU summit without Britain in decades, which was held on Friday. At the summit, the leaders of the member states pledged to draw a new vision for the EU in six months to restore faith in the bloc. John Stepling, author and commentator, joins us from Norway. You know, pretty strong statements coming here from uh, John Fico, the Slovak uh, uh, prime minister. But uh, if we were to look at it, I guess he may be sending a message by making that type of a statement in terms of EU stance regarding the UK? Well, sure. I mean, this is, I don't think that uh, Fico says much of anything unless he clears it with um, the, the larger uh, countries in the EU. Uh, you know, you have to remember that an awful lot of the discontent um, and, and the Brexit vote was fueled by immigration concerns, which, you know, the, with, with racist rhetoric of far right parties and so forth, Islamophobia. But there was also a great deal of, you know, working class discontent. I mean, the specter of Greece um, uh, hovered over all of this and the brutal crushing of, of, of the Greek economy and, and country. So, so what, you know, there is, there is a kind of strange mixed message going on in all of this. And, and um, the, the immigration crisis that fuels so much of it, you know, these are immigrants coming from Syria, Iraq before that, Afghanistan. Um, so U.S. foreign policy um, you know, is a major player in all of this. And, uh, you know, Britain is, um, I think, a little bit delusional in terms of, of w their expectations in, ter in terms of what the rest of the Eurozone is going to, uh, to do and say. Um, at the same time, uh, who knows what's going on <laughs> behind the scenes? This is this is public theater right now, Fico's comment. So it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to really evaluate. But it's hard not to uh, ignore the market that uh, the UK has, given that it's the fifth largest economy in the world. But at the same time, the trading partner of the UK, well, is the EU countries. So uh, nothing is going to be clear until these negotiations actually take place. And that's when the real stuff is going to come out. The city of London is is, you know, synonymous with the with with the British economy. That's that's what we're talking about, and that's a wildly unregulated uh, market there, and uh, it has attracted a lot of banking and and currency um, activity because it's so unregulated. Uh, and how that how that plays out um, will be interesting to see. I don't really know. Appreciate it. John Stepling, author and commentator there from Norway.